Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. So recently a client gave me this electric carving knife and said it was broken. And I was thrilled with that because that means I can take it apart and see how it works. And I want to recycle as much as possible. Now I always like cords, and especially a cord that has a motor or a heating element are a little bit heavier than your lamp cords. So that's always good. So you got four blades here, and I'm wondering if they're stainless or if they're steel. Yep, they're steel. And it has this little screw there. So I'm gonna take all four of those off. And the blades I'm gonna keep, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. But, you know, you might be surprised what you can do with a, a sharp blade like that. Nice thing about this cord, it's almost six feet long. So that could be, you know, repurposed into something pretty nice. And I have done this before where I've taken things apart and shown how they work. I want to recycle as much as possible because my client put this in the garbage and I fished it out. So I just want to see out of curiosity, instead of throwing the whole thing into the landfill, how much can be salvaged, how much can be repurposed. And to do that, say hello to my little friend. So this is a digital scale. I'm going to weigh everything in grams. So let's start off by putting the whole thing on here. And the whole thing weighs 740 grams. Now, as I go and take this apart, I'm reweighing all the parts. And at the end, I'll give you a total, how much is salvaged and how much is gonna be recycled. First thing I'm gonna take apart is a little Phillips screw. So I got my kit here from Jocko, and I'm gonna look for a little Phillips screwdriver. One of the things I do when I go to a trade show or the home show, and they have our Frisbees, I like to save them because you can put all your little parts in there. And like I said, I want to weigh these up. I don't want to lose anything. So I'm just going to use my kinetic driver. And take these all apart. Now these are really small screws. I don't know if I'll save them or if I'll just put them into my metal recycling bucket. So that's done. I don't know if you can see that. I gotta get way down in there. It's a Phillips. Looks like a medium sized tip. All right, I got good engagement in there. It's not stripping out on me. It really shouldn't be too long of a screw. There it is. So before I open this up, put down in the comments where you think's inside of here. I think there's gonna be a motor and maybe a circuit board and some plastic gears because you gotta turn rotating motion into linear motion like this. So with that screw out, I'm thinking Maybe this thing should just pry apart, and it's coming apart. Nope, oh, nope, nope, it's coming apart. So here is the top, and this is the eject button, and that it ejects the blades, and it's held on. I'm going to see that I fill up screw there. So we'll get that out of there. And there's a small spring. I don't know if this is stainless. Yep, so that's kind of nice. And then the button. All right. Well, don't try this at home, but I plugged it in. And let's see if it still works. Okay, I see what happened. The axle that this gear rides on, I don't know if you can see there, there's a clip on this side. And let me see if I can position this. And this side it's missing. And the axle came out. So this thing's been, uh, I don't know, I believe the client said this is about 20 years old. So that clip there is uh, probably steel. And it's probably stuck to the bottom of the motor. If I could find that clip, I could put this all together, but then 
the client already bought a new one. So let's start taking it apart and see if we can find that clip. This is pretty nice because everything is a Phillips, small Phillips head screwdriver. So I got a cordless screwdriver and let's see if we can speed this up here. If I can get in there. I still don't see that missing part. Let's take out the motor. The motor having magnets that might be stuck behind there. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, maybe I gotta take these out. All right, I don't see, uh, oh. There's two more way down in there. I don't know if you can see that. And let's see if the motor assembly comes out now. I still don't see that missing part. So here's a close up. Here's the axle that that gear drives on. On the other side, now look at that. This has been going for a while. Look at that hole, it's not round, it's all wallowed out. But I don't know where that, that pin went. Huh. Neat little motor. I might be saving that. Let's take out this drive mechanism. That's really tight in there. Probably like a little Loctite. Always make sure you unplug it when you start working on something like this. So that part that's missing could have fell through these vent holes and that's not why and that's why we're not seeing it. So let's uh let's cut the motor off the cord. And this is a nice little motor. I'm gonna keep this. This is a treasure for sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's got a interesting gear in there. I don't know if I can make something out of it someday. But this is the heaviest part of the whole darn deal. And then there's two screws here to get the cord out. And the cord's tied in a knot. I want this cord to be as long as possible. So I'm gonna unknot it here. Well, I think this thing is pretty well built. They probably don't make them this nice anymore. The failure point was that clip, so let's pull See if I can pull this axle out. Because there seems to be like some bearings in there. And these are these little these little clips here. That's what holds the blade in. Let's take them out. Put them onto our pile of steel that will weigh when we're all done here. I know it's just come out the opposite side. See if I can pop this clip off of the spring. Oh, 
Oh, we lost that one, that one flying. And it seems like that pin is pressed into something in the center here. I'm just gonna bend these two ears out and just kinda see what we get. Bend it out a little bit more. So here's the gear that matches up with this motor. And it has cams on here. It has these cams on here. And as this rotate, it pushes this plastic nylon piece forward and the blades flip onto there. Interesting. Looks like these cams are brass on the top. Let's see if we can take that apart. Yeah, they're brass on there. This one's brass. So that makes it uh, wear pretty good. And they put a little grease in here at the factory. So this is just a uh, nylon gear here. Oh, well, everything is basically a part. Let me clean up my hands and then we'll start weighing stuff and see what we got. Okay, with everything taken apart, let's weigh each individual item and see how much we're gonna save and how much is going to landfill. So here's a cord. And that's 87 grams. That I'm saving. Here's the motor and by far the most heaviest part of the whole thing. 308 grams. That I'm gonna save. Now the four blades, they're steel. 106 grams. Now this was a piece of rubber that was wrapped around a motor. This is pretty nice, I'm gonna save that. And that's 11 grams. And here's all the uh, little clips and screws and and whatnot. We'll put that on there. And that's 71 grams. And some of it fell on the floor and some of it went flying away. All of this will be recycled next time I go to a scrapyard. I have a five gallon bucket. I put anything that's steel in there. And that's where, and that's where this will all go. Okay, now. What is not going to be recycled is the plastic parts and the cams and the nylon parts. And that's 155 grams. So we started out with 740 grams. And of that, 155 is actually going to go to landfill. I think that's pretty good. I had fun doing it. I like to see how things work and how things are made. And I got a, a nice motor, a cord, some very sharp steel blades, and a piece of rubber out of it. This is MKE Gadgets. Put down in the comments below if you too like taking things apart and seeing how they're made and trying to get the least amount to landfill. I would appreciate that. Also would appreciate if you take the time to subscribe as I have over 160 videos on YouTube. So click that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notifications of all my new videos. I would appreciate the support. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow.